Well, Jamie, here we are, um, ahead of the, the Six Nations, another exciting tournament beckons, and uh, you're a Guinness ambassador. And it's just not about just watching rugby, is it? It's um, it's the whole experience when fans go to a Six Nations game. It, it's watching the rugby, yeah. it's it's a bit of drinking, it's a bit of banter, it's, it's a good night out, it's a good weekend away. It's a good weekend, it's a good uh, kind of event as such, you know, at the, at the end of it all. Um, and... It kind of begins on on you know uh, the, the Facebook page and the Area Twenty Two Facebook page, banter going on about that. People putting up videos and pictures with with the, some of the players. The players putting up their stuff as well, trying to give you a bit of an insight into the game, into life and camp and stuff like that. And um, continues long afterwards as well, you know, with the chat and the, from all the different people and and the players, you know, point of view of the game and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's a you know, it's a weekend, it's what weekends were made for, you know, kind of the big event at the end of the day. And let's talk about Ireland then. You, you come into the tournament of, uh, I think it's probably fair to say, a, a bit of a mixture at, at the World Cup. Um, how confident are you that you can build on what you achieve there? Well, yeah, see, see, you, you're kind of saying the wrong things to me there because I would, I'd be very like, you know, we weren't successful at the World Cup really at all because, you know, we went there with the you know, with the mission, the goal of, of winning the World Cup and uh, we failed in that. Um, now, we learned from it all, right, but in, in essence we failed from it. But however, you know, the confidence doesn't doesn't falter, doesn't wander. Um, you know, coming into the Six Nations, I think uh, this, the squad that we'll get together will be, you know, pretty confident. Uh, the clubs are going very well and... Um, you know, I think with Ireland, it's always the case of, uh, you know, uh, you know, we we never we never get beaten by games. We always lose games ourselves by m making too many mistakes or errors and getting punished by them. Because that's what happens at international level. You make mistakes, you get punished. So, we, we, if the squad cut out the the mistakes, I think, I think, um, you know, they'll they'll be a force to be reckoned with. You start off against Wales, so perhaps there's a bit of revenge on your mind for the what happened in the World Cup quarterfinal. Uh, not for me. Some other guys, yeah, maybe. Uh, for me, you know, the the memories of the World Cup are are long gone. Um, very quickly, had to switch into the club mode. Um, you know, into kind of Pro 12 and and the European Cup. And um, you know, right now, I'm focusing on the European Cup and and the Six Nations is. You know, it's 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 starting to come up, all right. But you know, I'm not I'm not focusing on too much. Um, all I got to focus on play well with Leinster and uh, hopefully get into the squad and and then try and get into the into the starting starting squad. It's a tough the way the fixtures have, have fallen for you this year. It looks fairly tough on paper because you've play France away and I think you play England away. Mm. Is that a, a worry for the squad at all? France away has always been a, tr a troublesome one for us. Excuse me. We um, we haven't won in France for a long time. Um, since that day, Brian scored. I think it was three tries in the, in the game. So yeah, it's a, it's a it's a tough one. But we win it. We've won it. We've won a lot away in France as club. So um, you know, it's not going there. It's just you know, you're going up against the quality side. You know, so we got we got to be on our A game going over there. And as regards to you know England. Hey, it's on Paddy's Day. It might as well be in Dublin. You know what I mean? It's. Uh, I think they're. You know, we're trying to push it. That's going to be the friendliest day of the year over there with with all the the, the Paddies in town. So um, yeah, I think you might as well be playing in Dublin if you ask me. That's fallen quite convenient for you because you, you, the way you're you're smiling and it looks like you're really relishing that game already. And and the fact that it is on St Patrick's Day and you're going to have such a strong following and perhaps it's going to be even more vociferous for you could work in your favour. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, I mean, I'd love to be involved in that game just because you know the, the atmosphere. I'd say it'll be electric. Um, I'd say you know you 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 never know. We might outnumber uh, the English supporters around Twickenham that day. I think you probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about England because a lot's been uh, written and said about them. Of course, they have an, an interim coach in Stuart Lancaster who's picked some new faces in his squad. And what did you make of, of the England squad? Um, my general knowledge of uh, other teams and stuff is pretty poor. So uh, I'm not really up to speed on the whole thing. I just heard that... Um, He's brought in something like 13 guys who were on capped and uh, left a lot of big names out of the, the squad and stuff. Um, you know, the coaches always have their decisions and sometimes players agree with them, sometimes players don't. But, um, you know, the only thing you could do is, is 
you know, whatever team you're playing with that week, you know, just try and, you know, do your job, play well and, and put your hand up in the air for se for selection, you know, it's, it's out of your hands then. And talking about your, your club situation, things are going very well for Leinster, particularly in the defence of, of, of the Heineken Cup. Um, are you confident that you can maintain your, your level of performance then? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, um, I think, uh, you know, we have a very good game plan in order and, and we treat each game very well. <clears throat> and I think our strength and uh, strength and conditioning guys are, um, you know, keeping us in tip-top shape and we're all getting rotated and getting rest times and, you know, everyone's bubbling nicely, you know, at the, at the times when they need to be. So um, I think it's going well. I think, um, yeah, I think guys are... Uh, yeah, we're we're going pretty well, you know, and I can't really argue with the way we're playing. Um, last week against Cardiff, we started the game well, but then got got a little bit loose in the second half. So we have to, you know, make sure that we play for the for the eighty minutes now in the European Cup. You touched on it earlier about um, uh, the last time you won in in Paris. Uh, your your captain Brian O'Driscoll uh, produced a starring role. You're not going to have his services in this tournament. How much of a blow is that going to be? Yeah, miss, missing someone like Brian, um, you know, our captain, um, a good leader, and an amazing player, it's going to be tough, you know. Um, lose any one of them, and it's tough. But the fact that he's all three as well, um, it's going to make it even harder. But in, you know, you've seen in Leinster how lads have adapted, um, lads have taken their chances that have been waiting there, and uh, we've 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 gotten on fine. You know, um, we've done well. The lads who 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 have taken their opportunity have done very well. You've got people like Owen O'Malley, uh, Brendan Mackin, Fergus McFadden. These guys have taken their chance very well and, and made the position their own in the way they they can. You know, their own style. But yeah, they're always going to be you know overcast by the shadow that is that is Brian. But um, yeah, the lads have lads have gotten on well. You know, uh, but it's great to see Brian around as well. Now he's he's starting to kind of get himself back into training, do certain things now and. Uh, it's it's good to see him around there as well, but um, you know the the lads are definitely putting pressure on. Is he going to be in and around the squad? Uh, you know, talking to the players. Do you think during the Six Nations and and um, giving his advice? I don't know, actually. Um, I don't know. I mean, um, I, off the top of my head, I, I actually I actually don't think he'll be around. You know, if he's if he's not in the squad, he's he's not in the squad. He'll be out training. You know, you not you don't tend really to be around if you're if you're not in the the training squad. Obviously, apart from Ireland, who do you fancy for the Six Nations? Um, a lot of guys are looking well. You know, England are going to be dangerous because you're going to have all these guys who are just mustered to get out there and do something. You know what I mean? These guys want to prove a point. Uh, Wales are going to be dangerous, and then um, you know, France they got to the World Cup final. You know, not for you, know, you don't get to the World Cup final for being a bad team. Yeah, so those guys are going to be good. So, you know, there's, there's everyone's posing a, a, a different challenge. So, you know, a great phrase I've been using all day that I heard a long time ago was, you know, you can't um, you can't win the Six Nations in the first day. You can definitely lose it. So, just worrying about the first game. You know, all I'm worrying about is Wales right now.